Welcome aboard the BioTrain. In this video we're going to talk about an activity that will help us understand DNA sequencing. This activity was taken from the book Molecular Biology and Biotechnology by Helen Kreutzer and Adrian Massey. To model the DNA sequencing process you will need a sheet with four copies of the DNA primer templates. You will need four different cups labeled A, T, G, and C and you will need five different color paper clips. The first step is that everyone will be assigned a letter A, T, G, or C. This will be the reaction that you spike with chain terminators. Next you want to cut out the four copies of the DNA template strand. Each color paper clip will be assigned to represent a different nucleotide. The red will represent adenine, the blue will represent thymine, the green will represent guanine, and the yellow will represent cytosine. The pink paper clip will represent chain terminators. Chain terminators are also called dideoxynucleotides. They are different from normal nucleotides because they lack an OH group which allows another nucleotide to be bonded to it. When a chain terminator is placed into a replicating strand, it terminates the replication process, hence the name chain terminators. Next, we need to set up our cups with the proper number of paper clips. Your assigned letter cup gets 16 normal nucleotides and 4 chain terminators. All your other cups get 20 normal nucleotides of the right color. If you were assigned the letter A, that means you would put 16 red paper clips and 4 pink paper clips in the A cup. All the other cups, T, G, and C, would get 20 paper clips of the appropriate color. If you were assigned the T reaction, you would fill your cups like this. If you were assigned the G reaction, you would fill your cups like this. And if you were assigned the C reaction, your cups would be filled like this. In this part of the activity, you will need your four template strands and your cups with the right number and colors of paper clips in each cup. Let's look at the big picture of what we're doing here. We are trying to simulate DNA replication. So we have a DNA strand with a primer attached and we have 16 bases that are exposed. We are going to replicate by making another strand which is complementary to the existing strand. I have modeled it here using paper clips. I've modeled the first eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've modeled the first eight bases here being replicated. Notice how there's an A on the DNA template strand and there is a, I put a T, a blue paper clip to match that on the opposite strand. So I have A, A, G, the other strand would be T, T, C and you'll see how they're complementary. So this is modeling DNA replication. Now we're adding the extra element in there of having the pink chain terminators. So we need to think about what that will do. So what implication does that have? That means that if my T cup is spiked, I have the possibility of terminating the replication process everywhere that there is an A. So you're going to do this four times with your cups and you are going to go through the replication process but stop the replication process if you pick a chain terminator and add it to the strand. I hope that helps you stay comfortably seated on the biotrain.